Welcome back to the channel everybody. Um, today we're changing the oil in the gearbox on my Range Rover Supercharged. But what I've done, I've already changed it once. Um, I bought two pans, so I'm saving quite a bit of money because I'm not, uh, I'm saving labor costs because I'm doing it myself. So I bought two pans, a 20 liter of, of oil to do the job. So yeah, we're just gonna go under the car and I'll show you what I've been doing. Well, we're gonna have a good look. So yeah, that's what I've done. I've flushed it twice and I'm using two pans. So what I've done, I've drained the oil about a week ago. Um, then put a new pan on it, filled it up with oil and ran it for a week. Because when you just normally drain the oil out, you've still got a couple of litres um, hidden away in the oil coolers and the torque converter. Um, so yeah, so this is one way of doing it. I'm just going to have a good look under here to make sure it's nice and scrupulously clean. And there's been no evidence of uh, anything in the pan. There's no silver stuff in the pan bits of metal you've got, you're gonna save money if you do it yourself so the money you're gonna save I would buy two of everything and run it for a week and you know this car's done 90,000 miles it's never had an oil change uh, I'll show you I've taken some samples and I'll put them in jam jars for you to have a look at. This is something else I've done as well. I put a little bit of oil and to make sure I'm not going to get a an air lock in the filter. So what I've done, I've filled the, the filter up with the, with the correct oil. Okay, this is the next step. We've put the fluid in. Now we need to keep our eyes on the transmission oil temperature. Um, that needs to be between 40 and 50. So you've only got a little window to pump the rest of this oil in the gearbox. So we need to just uh, go through the gears, foot on the brake. reverse we'll just leave it in just for, just for a couple of second ten seconds and then we'll go to neutral let it drive see if we can go through some of the gears two three I think we're only going to get up to two into neutral reverse and park right the transmission oil is going up to 31 at the moment it's climbing quite fast make sure we put the handbrake on In fact, I'm going to fill this up in neutral. Make sure the handbrake's on, which it is. Transmission oil is 31 degrees. It's 35 degrees at the moment. 
this is how I've got the car. Right, the next thing to do is undo the filler plug. Um, I'm using a pump to pump the oil into the gearbox. Okay, we've got the job done. I'm just taking the car for a test drive. Um, one thing I would note is while you're pumping the extra oil into the gearbox when it's warm, you've got a little window you've got between 40 and 50 degrees. Anything higher is no good. Anything lower is no good. So you've got between 40 and 50 degrees to do it. Um, but while you're doing it, make sure the gearbox is in neutral, okay, as you're doing it. So we're just, uh, car drives like a Rolls Royce now, beautiful. Um, so it's had a, a double flush. And then I know for a fact, the clean oil has gone through into the oil coolers and most importantly of all it's flushed through the uh, torque converter um, so yeah that's all the fluids done the both diffs have been done um, the transfer box has been done uh, the engine oil has been done and this thing just drives like liquid Beautiful. And about the colour of the oil, I don't think it's ever had a gearbox oil change. There's nothing in the service book either. Most people don't change it, I don't know why. So my local dealer wanted £650 to do the job. So I would recommend, I'm going to give you all the specs shortly, and I'm going to give you a look at um, a couple of flushes through jam jars um, so you can make your own mind up then you can buy two lot I'll tell you exactly where I got the stuff from okay we're back from the oil change I'm just going to show you the correct oil I used there's the telephone number this is Smith & Allen the based in Darlington This was £125 for a 20 litre tub. Okay, so I'm going to do a little comparison here. That was the first flush. There's the second one. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so you can see it was definitely due an oil change. Um, all this sealed for life bullshit. Oil goes off, my car is 10 years old now. It's a 2013. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's way past. That's why I've done a double flush. Uh, it's quite simple to do. And as you can see, that's what it's supposed to look like, nice and clean. So that's the second flush. Don't forget, you've got the torque converter. Not all the oil comes out of the car on a drain. And then you've also got the gearbox cooler, which is full of crap oil like this. So that's why I flushed it through. And now it should look like this. There you go. I've also done the transfer box. I recommend you get it from Land Rover. This takes 1.2 litres. But put the correct amount in, don't overfill it. Special oil, yes, it costs a fortune, but it's worth doing. Now I'd recommend doing this at 30,000 miles. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to do it at 30,000 miles. 
So this is the flush state of the oil after a couple of days of being in the car. It's not good, is it? Look at the state of that. I'll just pour it in there so you can see it. That's after it's been in the car for three days. So this is what 92,000 miles looks like. It's not good, is it? Look at it up in the light. Absolutely black.